This iPod sized device could someday help save your life, or at least help you get better care in a hospital emergency room. It's called a MeTag, short for Medical Information Tag. Researchers at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore developed it as part of a larger network of vital sign monitors. And what these devices do is that they continuously monitor the vital signs of the patients and then they alert um, either nurses or physicians in case uh, the vital signs uh, deteriorate. And there have been reports of uh, patients whose uh, health deteriorates while they are waiting in the emergency room. And for doctors slammed with hundreds of sick patients, knowing who needs immediate attention and who can wait it out a little bit longer can make all the difference between life and death. PhD student Zhang Ko puts a me tag on and demonstrates how it works. And what this uh, clip actually measures your uh, heart rate and your, the level of oxygen in your blood. So you see uh, that uh, John is a little bit nervous right now, so his heart rate is uh, a little bit high. The me tag relays these metrics wirelessly to a website, which is then closely monitored by hospital staff. Why does it monitor just those two things? Uh, these two things uh, actually uh, give a broad indication of a, of a patient's health. For example, when the heart rate goes above a certain threshold, so you see these uh, two lines, when it goes below 40 or above uh, 150, then, then uh, uh, both an audible and a visible alarm will be generated so the nurse can be very quickly see um, what patients are not feeling well. And advances in wireless technology make it possible for the MeTag to last several days on just one charge. This could be crucial in disaster situations where Terza said they hope to also apply the technology. Additional relay points like these would help make that possible, expanding the area the MeTags can work. But what about notoriously unreliable wireless networks, like the kind on which this system also operates? Our first study was to actually uh, test the reliability of the system because there is actually very little knowledge of how these systems will, will perform in a, in a hospital environment. Terzis noted that it performed extremely well, with 99% of the data making it through the network safely. Even though the data is sent over the wireless radio, they are both encrypted and signed so that outsiders cannot read the patient's uh, vital signs. Nor can some malicious program or person generate fake profiles to confuse the network and caregivers. The team thinks the $500 prototypes will eventually come down to $20 a piece, and they hope to place them not just in U.S. hospitals, but also in crowded ER rooms in China, India, and beyond. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.